welcome to real civil youtube channel in this video we are going to see how to create this frame in etap software okay uh, for that you need to go to file new file use inbuilt setting click on ok now if you see here one two three four so four grid lines in x direction we required with spacing in x direction 7.5 meter as you can see in this pdf 7.5 meter okay uh, and number of storage number of storage 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so there are seven number of storage custom story data edit story data i want to edit because the floor to floor height is not uniform means Plinth is 1.1 then 4.1 then 5 meter okay so first story level is at 1.1 meter second one is at 4.1 meter then all the stories having 5 meter okay if you see the picture clearly then you can understood that 1 2 3 4 5 means middle these floors 1 2 3 4 5 have same loading okay so we can give here a master story command so s and the, our story is similar to story 2 okay and these are not master stories means uh, these are not similar stories click on ok click on ok now we want to work in elevation here you can see one one apply okay so this is our frame here we want to work okay so go to define material property define the material so this concrete m15 okay okay i want to add some steel means rebar okay okay close now let's define section properties the section given in the PDF are if you go to concrete beam 300 by 600 just uh, oh, I think we haven't just cancel this process just go to define material properties uh, we haven't applied here ok ok and once again we have to add rebar ok ok and then ok now go to define section property frame section add new property rectangular here beam of 300 by 600 and 15 depth is 600 width is 300 just select beam okay okay now add new property rectangular column is of 500 by 500 m15 500 and 500 then just select i just want to show you how to make frames so this data i am not going in detail okay now just come to here quick draw here select the beam keep here similar story option on now just draw the beam by clicking on the grid line we have given similar story come here hence above that typically beams will get now select the column Select the vertical grid lines. Now below plane the also there are columns so which gets added to the footing. Hence we have to mark here. Okay. Now we have to assign fix supports. So select go to assign joints restrain fixed apply 
copy now our modeling part is complete now we will apply the loads okay i will just apply the live load which is on the right side right side of the positive sign so there is no live load on this floor above which 5 kilo newton on these two beams udl so let's select these two beams assign frame loads distributed assign under live 5 apply okay now on these two beams uh, there is a live load of point load 37.5 so go to assign frame load distributed uh, sorry go to assign frame load point select live select absolute distance here 37.5 at a distance of 2.5 meter and again 2.5 meter means 5 meter 37.5 apply ok now on these two beams there is an UDL of 1.9 so go to assign frame load distributed here 1.9 apply ok and on this assign frame load point load 14.3 so here 14.3 is the intensity at a distance of 2.5 meter 14.3 3 at a distance of 2.5 meter apply ok I think uh, we have to edit assign frame load point load we delete the load now we again add loads 14.3 at a distance of 2.5 and 5 meter here We have to select the object ok now we can apply ok now just go and analyze our analysis and for that we have to save the model now the process will get complete so click here elevation 1 apply ok now here you can see the live load select live load you can go here display frames and peers show values apply ok now you can check the results as per your manually calculated or compare the results okay so this is from this video uh, thank you so much for watching the video please like share subscribe real civil youtube channel thank you so much